Discovering your twin flame can be an incredibly thrilling encounter. When you're with them, everything else seems to vanish, and you feel understood and acknowledged like never before. However, what if your twin flame rejects you and desires no connection with you? Below are 10 suggestions that can assist you in coping with this challenging situation. To deal with a twin flame who is uninterested in communicating with you, it is crucial to honor their decision and give them ample space. Even though maintaining open lines of communication may be your desire, respecting their wishes and stepping back is essential. Utilize the no contact period to consider your life and give yourself time to grieve and recover from the situation. Acknowledging your emotions during this time can be beneficial in terms of progress. Additionally, it can help you calm down and acquire better coping techniques by offering you the sufficient distance to assess the problem more objectively. While observing the no contact rule, it may be enticing to peek at your twin flame's social media pages to check on their well-being. However, this should be avoided at all costs. Moreover, considering your emotional vulnerability at this time, it is recommended that you either limit or avoid social media use. Excessive social media usage can lead to unfavorable comparisons between yourself and others, resulting in negative thoughts about your self-worth. Reducing your screen time can provide more opportunities for authentic interactions in real life. Nothing can replace face-to-face -face contact with family and friends. Rather than focusing on your twin flame's actions, emotions, or how to make things better for them, prioritize self-care. Numerous self-care activities can benefit your mental, physical, and emotional health. Ensuring that you get adequate sleep is critical. Insufficient sleep can affect cognitive processes such as decision-making, memory, and reaction time, as well as your mood and interactions with others. One self-care idea is to take a walk in nature for 60 minutes. If there is a nearby park, according to a study conducted by the Lies Meitner Group for Environmental Neuroscience at the Max Planck Institute for Human Development, such a walk can help reduce activity in brain regions associated with stress processing. Spending time with family and friends and enjoying their company is also a good idea. Although it may be tempting to spend all of your time alone and overthinking, Keep in mind that there are people who care about you, and you do not have to go through this alone. Instead of viewing the separation as a burden, use it as a chance to expand your horizons. This doesn't necessarily require traveling to far-off lands and going on an eat, pray, love adventure, although it's a possibility if you choose to do so. Instead, consider exploring new activities or developing new hobbies. Engaging in such activities can assist in cultivating a better relationship with oneself. For example, you could enroll in a cooking class, take up guitar lessons, or practice yoga. Is there something you've always desired to attempt? but never had the opportunity to do. Now is your chance to explore it. Expand your social circle. Experiencing separation from the person you feel deeply connected to can be difficult to cope with. You may realize the extent to which they have occupied a significant space in your life. Once they're no longer there, leaving behind an empty void that you may struggle to fill. By joining various communities, you aren't necessarily attempting to replace the person who has left, rather, you're establishing new connections that can also provide soul-nourishing experiences. Be on the lookout for opportunities and participate in groups that share your interests. You can connect with like-minded individuals via mutual friends or through online platforms that organize virtual or in-person meetings. Engage in self-reflection, examine your thoughts and actions, and pinpoint areas in which you can grow. Self-reflection can be challenging, especially when confronted with your fears, insecurities, and negative traits. 
Always treat yourself with compassion and understanding as you attempt to reconcile with the parts of yourself that you've tried to avoid or suppress over time. Twin flames are intended to serve as catalysts for personal growth. While the chemistry may be intense and feel like it's out of a movie, it's also intended to impart difficult life lessons as it exposes your vulnerabilities and fears. When someone you care deeply about rejects you, it can make you question your worth. In moments like these, it's common to seek validation through unhealthy means, but it's important to resist the temptation to do so. If you're separating from your twin flame, resist the urge to jump into a Reban relationship, and instead focus on healing and self-improvement. Remember that your ultimate validation should come from within, by recognizing and believing in your worthiness. Going through a twin flame separation can bring about feelings of loneliness and darkness. In these moments, it's helpful to take a step back and consider all the good things you have in your life. According to Robert Emmons, a professor of psychology, Gratitude has two key components, recognizing the goodness in our lives, and acknowledging that the source of that goodness comes from outside of ourselves. Practicing gratitude by identifying things you're thankful for can help you appreciate the positive aspects of your life and realize that you're not alone in this world. Start a gratitude journal and write down at least five things you're grateful for each day. No matter how small they may seem, practicing mindfulness can help you stay focused on the present moment and accept the situation without trying to control it, which can be particularly helpful in reducing stress and anxiety caused by the twin flame separation. There are various ways to practice mindfulness, such as mindful breathing. This involves sitting or lying down in a quiet and comfortable place and focusing on your breath. Pay attention to the sensation of air entering and exiting your nostrils, and how it fills and leaves your lungs. Guided meditation. This type of meditation involves following a teacher either in person or through audio recordings who guides you through different visualizations. You can try using meditation podcasts to get started. Loving Kindness Meditation. This practice focuses on cultivating feelings of kindness, compassion, and love towards yourself, others, and the world. You can use this guide to get started. During the time you spend on self-reflection and personal growth after a twin flame separation, you will gain a better understanding of the behaviors and situations that are harmful to you. To protect your mental and emotional well-being, it's essential to set boundaries by removing yourself from any situations that hurt you. This could involve reducing contact with individuals you don't get along with, or standing up for yourself, and refusing to tolerate any mistreatment. Before you leave, it's important to keep in mind that going through a separation phase with your twin flame can be a difficult but ultimately fulfilling experience. As long as you focus on personal growth, while some believe that twin flames are destined to be together, others argue that the purpose of the twin flame is to facilitate self-love and growth without necessarily ensuring a lifelong partnership. Regardless of your beliefs, the presence of a twin flame is intended to inspire you to become the best version of yourself. Trust that whatever the outcome of your situation may be, it is part of your journey and will make you stronger. Remember that you will be okay. Best of luck to you.